What is up, everybody? White Lighting HWD here with another video, and today we're gonna be doing some Farminga in Champions, and we're gonna be using a Balloon and Minion raid for a Balloon and Minion army for this first raid, and then we're gonna be doing all archers for the second raid. Now, I know that a lot of you guys have been wanting to see my all archer raids in Champions, so next video will be dedicated to the all archer farming, uh, and probably the next like one bajillion uh, farming videos for Tunnel 10 because that's what we're using to farm at Tunnel 10, uh, all archers. And will most likely be, blah, 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 most likely be dropping down into the Masters Two League, uh, just because my friend who farms down there at Town Ten with all archers says it's a maze balls and the loot is like just it's just oh, 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 like that, like every time he finds a base it's just like oh, 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 it just makes that noise. So you can tell by that by that noise that it's pretty damn good down there. So yeah, I'll probably be dropping down there to farm with all archers at Town Ten. And uh, yeah, so this might be the last Farming and Champs video. I apologize for that because a lot of people really like the series, but uh, there will be farming videos of Talent 10, uh, and there's still gonna be big loot raids and whatnot. So uh, if you guys have any ideas on like names for a Talent 10 farming series, just hit me up with those because like I want to do something that like isn't too mainstream, but uh, I don't want to pick a series name that like nobody will know what the hell the series is about. So if you guys have any series names, uh, just throw those in the comments, and that will be appreciated extremely. Now, uh, this raid, I took extremely slow, but uh, I kind of just wanted to clear all the buildings out of the way because this was my first raid with Balloonian with free spells, and I figured, fuck it, we're going to use it, and we're going to get the three star. But unfortunately, a uh, little spoiler alert, uh, I definitely did not get the three star. I went in this like, I was like, I'm going to go from the top of the base and attack with all the troops. And uh, the only reason why attacking from the top base ultimately, like, you know, aided to this being a victory was that there was like, the, the rest of the loot was on the top half of the base, so uh, by attacking from the top, I gained all the rest of the loot, but I didn't even get the two star. Like, in my free spell usage was shitty, that was a wasted rage spell. So, um, yeah, the second half of this raid did not go so well, but uh, it's all good because I got all the loot. I could have gotten the two star if I wanted to. If I really wanted to, I could have gotten it, but because uh, I still had my king and queen. But I decided, yeah, I want the loot anyway. So I got the king on the uh, king, the queen on the left side, and then I just cannot talk tonight. Goodness gracious! King goes down on the right side, and I'm gonna use his ability fairly quick, so just so that he has the uh, you know the extra strength and the barbarians to help him get through the store just quicker. And um, boom, that is gonna be at 380k each raid, pretty much, plus my 180k bonus which is going to bring this right up to a whopping whole lot of loot that I'm not going to do the math for, but it was a lot, trust me guys, it was a lot of loot. So that's like, not an average raid in champs, but like, that's a lot of loot, and it's pretty good for uh, for champion. And I also forgot to mention that that attack, we did get 69%, guys, we have won the game at Clash of Clans, we can quit now, ending the video, no, I'm just playing. But uh, we did get 69%, so we got the ultimate victory, so it doesn't matter how much loot we got, because we still got the 69! Alright, getting on to this raid. Uh, this means an all archer attack in champions. Now, I know you guys, a lot of you guys have been asking for these. So, uh, here it is. This is an all archer attack. Basically, what I did with this base is that I used four lightning spells to take out the two mortars on the uh, top left, well, not top left, well, the left and bottom sides, uh, just so that they were not a factor during the raid. They don't mess with my bitch archers, mine. You got that, homie? Nah, but. Okay, so what I'm doing here in this raid, basically, is I'm clearing out all of the buildings um, around the base that are undefended by the enemy's defensiones. Uh, basically what this does is it makes my archers, or it makes the job easier for the archers. There's basically less buildings for the archers to take out once uh, once I start my full attack, which I will do on the right side of the base right now. So I'm going to be starting the circle around the base and be going up the right side, and then the left side, and then the top and the left, and then the top and the right. This is why this strategy is so damn easy. Literally all you do is just make a huge freaking circle around the base, and these archers will literally melt through it. Like, that's all there is to it. This isn't like a complicated ass strategy like balloons and minions. You know, you gotta use you gotta use some some strategic placements and whatnot with balloons and minions, but with all archers, you just make a freaking circle. This is like second grade math right here. Like, this is great. So, uh, now that all the buildings are out of the way, I'm gonna be using the majority of my remaining archers, gonna be taking out uh, some of the loot at the bottom of the base. I'm gonna be grabbing the rest of that gold uh, from the collector. And then, um, once that's out of the way, I'm gonna have, I have about 18 archers left, and then my heroes. And I will be using those suckas on the top of the base to destroy and collect the rest of the loot cease. So what I'm going to be doing here is I'm using the Archer Queen to take out that Mortar and that Wizard Tower, basically just to get those splash damage pesky buildings the heck out of the way so that my archers can clean up the rest of this uh, gold on this top left side. So I'm going to put all the 18 archers up there. And then uh, going to use my Queen's ability. I should have put my King in like 5 seconds ago to help break through that wall. But I didn't because, you know, I'm, I'm new at this game. I actually just downloaded it like an hour ago. So 
using the king's ability just to be able to clean up that loot really really quickly and get it all and soak it up and that's gonna be the end of that raid and the end of the raids so uh, that was a solid raid with all archers now let's go back to my base and look at all the loot ah! Alright guys, we are back at base camp, and as you can see here, we're completely loaded on resources. I've, I've been doing a lot of uh, all-archer farming, uh, and it has just been paying off incredibly. Now, I'm sorry if there's any lag. I am in a bad spot in my house to record right now, so uh, let's do a little say out of YouTube, because I know the whole entire clan is waiting. Say hi to clan? Just kidding. Say hi to YouTube. Alright, there it is. There you go, everybody. Dolphin Stars love you. We got uh, we do have Tyrael in here, so I want to give a special little shout out to Tyrael. What's up, me, man? And uh, so yeah, if you guys haven't noticed, I do have a new base. I'll show that off in a second here once everybody's done saying uh, saying hello. But uh, yeah, I did make a new base, and I will have an, I had a new base build. I I have a new base build up for it as well. So if you guys haven't seen my base build for this base, uh, go check that out for show. And I will have some defensive replays with this base just to uh, to kind of show how it does. But it looks solid. I took it off of a really good farmer, so. Uh, we'll see how it does. I'm also going to change up my Clan Wars base as well, I'm thinking. So uh, we'll see how that goes. But yeah, geez, people are just chatty, chatty Cathy's tonight. We were actually have some quality conversations uh, in the Clan chat. It was actually very, very funny. So shout out to all of my boys in Dolphin Stars. You guys are some sick mofos. I love y'all. But um, yeah, guys, uh, All Archer Farming. I'll have some more replays with just the All Archers. I know today I had some, like, kind of... I had Loon replays, and those are, like, the last Loon replays you'll probably see from me uh, for Farming and Champions for a while. But I think I'm going to stay in Champs uh, <coughs> for a while to farm, uh, just because the loot's been really good, as you can tell by my max storages. But um, I might eventually drop into Masters, because I hear that Masters League is very, very good for farming for Tunnel 10 with uh, All Archers or Bart. So I'll do that probably... Uh, but for now, I'm going to stay in Champions a little bit longer because the loot is just great. And uh, using all archers, you know, I'm, I'm able to farm up Elixir, as you can tell. I have everything just maxed out to shit right now. And my Dark Elixir is at 150k. So uh, I was thinking about upgrading my Queen today and uh, doing that for this video. But I don't think that is going to happen. All right, we're, 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 uh, we're closing the chat. I love you guys. Thank you, thank you all for saying hello. Okay. Uh, I was going to upgrade my Queen. But as you can see, I've got two builders going on these Inferno Towers. And those are going to be done in four days. I do have this one that I will finish up in a second here. Uh, this is going to be done in three days. This will be done in four days. So uh, I really don't have, uh, you know, the builders to be upgrading the queen. Because the queen, she doesn't need to be upgraded right now. Uh, what I do need to bring in, though, is my third expo. And I think in, in when's my next builder? Uh, three days? I think in three days I can probably max out my storages again to do some more upgrading. Uh, especially for Elixir. Yeah, I should have enough time in three days. So, uh, let's finish this up. I'm not a gemmer, I swear to God. That was only 23 gems, I'm sorry. So, we've got the cannon to a whopping level six. And we also have the archer tower. Where is it? Where is it? Right here. To an awesome level six as well. So, let's remove this uh, this tree right here. I did get a Halloween headstone as well. So, I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, I was, you know, really concerned because I only got two Christmas trees over, like, December. And those were, like, in the last days of the Christmas update. Like, I honestly didn't think I was going to get a Christmas tree. And I was not happy about it, but I did. So, uh, <coughs> this is my base, by the way. And if you guys want to copy it, again, I do have a base build up on it. Now, this is a Tunnel 10 farming base with the fourth mortar in it as well. So, uh, yeah, we'll see how this base does. I'll have some defensive replays with it. So, now, we're going to bring in the third expo today. That is going to be what we're going to be doing. So, that costs 3 million gold. So before we do that, we're going to be upgrading a couple of walls to level 10 uh, using the gold that we have. So let's get some of these corner walls. We'll do we'll do two with elixir. So, shit. Shit. There it is. So we'll get one wall. There we go. And then we will do one more with elixir. Uh, which one should we do? Let's do this one. I like these little corner pieces. All right. Bam. Two walls down with elixir. Now let's get one more with gold. Let's get this one right here. Oh. That's the wrong one. God. There we go. Okay. Boom. Well, 10. Now we got 5 million gold left. Let us go in here to our defenses and grab this expo right quick. And let us put it... Uh, I think originally... Not originally, but usually it would go right here where the queen is. But obviously, you know, we're not going to have it in 7 days. So there's no point in putting it in the middle of the base. So let's pop this sucker on the outside. Uh, like right here. And boom! Boom! third expo building guys i'm pretty excited to have that and uh yes yeah, so we got a third expo on the way we got a couple of of level um level 10 walls but we got like maybe three there so uh and a brand new base 
and shout out to Dolphin Stars by the way. So that was the end of this video. This isn't the last farming in champs, I don't think, but um, I'll probably be doing some different series names. But I think I'm going to keep farming in champs just because the series is really well and you guys seem to enjoy it. So uh, that's going to be it for the video, guys. If you guys enjoyed the video and enjoy the series, make sure to like the video, subscribe, follow me on Twitter at WhileLightingHMD. I hope you guys enjoyed. I love you all. See you later. Peace. No, so all the pretty girls in class still They never reply, but never say never They never get caught on my mind I'm trying to get better and grind Measure my effort and skill gets better in time Fresher than ever and I am who I am No taking it back, I'm alive and well Well, what it do, my name is unimportant But what I say is quite amazing I hope you enjoy it I put my